ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வியூ கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் தி எஸ்எஸ்எல் கனெக்ட் தி கனெக்ஷன் வாஸ் ரீசெண்ட் வைல் கனெக்டிங் டு டேவ் டாட் அஷோர் டாட் காம் ஸோ டுடே வாட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு டூ இஸ் ஐம் கோயிங் டு கனெக்ட் தி அஷோர் ரீப்போ to my visual studio code and in fact the same is the case with github so in case if you're connecting your github uh, to your visual studio code you might get this error so in this video i will show you uh, the issue of how to fix this connection was reset in connection and also i will show you how to connect your azure repo your uh, devops azure devops repository to your visual studio code so i have uh, so the prerequisites are you need to have your azure uh, alum platform ready up and running and uh, you have a project which you have already created and here i have my repos and i have few files in it and i want to connect my azure devops to my visual studio code So in this video we will see how to do it and before we move on to the video this is me your son Shanmugam I welcome you all to our little slow youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet uh, like the video if it's really useful to you and share the video with your friends and share this video with those who are still struggling to connect their azure devops to the visual studio code and comment your questions and feedback in the comment section So now with no further ado let's go to the video so here uh i have an option so when when i open the repo so if you want to clone your azure devops repository to your visual studio code you'll have to go to your go to the repos first and then there are like two options one is set up build which is not required now and then near to it we have the clone option in fact there are like few other options for example you have the fork option you have new file upload files which is not required for this scope so let me click on the clone and once i click on the clone and there are like two command lines so one is the https and the other one is uh, ssh so there are two ways to connect it so let me take you through the simplest way which is if you have your vs code the visual studio code installed in your machine you can get this option so for example we can connect our azure devops to all these ides so like the android studio the c line data grip eclipse and uh, php storm pycharm ruby mine tower visual studio vs code and webstorm so in this example we are going to connect to the vs code which is already there and when i click on it i get this option so when i click on open and i'm just waiting for a few seconds and after this it's asking for a folder to clone the repo so here if you see we have this repo and uh, azure devops is asking us for a location to clone this repo so i'm choosing a folder which i have already set up for all my projects so i have my github folder here and once i select the github as my repository selection uh, connection so i get a error this is the ssl connect the connection was reset in connection to dev.azure.com colon 443 so if you are facing the same issue that's open ssl ssl connect issue so now let's fix this issue jointly So by this time I think you might have scroll your scroll this video but still I will continue. Okay, so let me click on cancel now and I'm going to the folder. So this is the folder which I want to clone my GitHub repo. So one thing which I have to do before I um use this folder to clone my repo before that I have to click on open in terminal. And once I open in terminal make sure you open it in the admin mode and then i do a git init so this will initiate an empty git repo in my folder so this is the folder which i want to use to clone so i'm using this folder i mean i'm just initiating my 
git repo in this folder and after that let's go back now i'm doing the same setup so clicking on the clone in vgs code clicking on open and the same thing i'm going to do so c drive vasanth github is the folder which i want to open so let me just go back here okay i'm clicking on the c drive vasanth and github and i have the dot git set which has been initialized already so i'm clicking this as a selector setup so once you do that you get this window here which is would you like to open the cloned repository and when i click on open i get this file the same set of files the git ignore the azure pipelines.yaml and then the readme.md so when i go back so if you see you get this files which are in the main branch so if you see i've got the main branch and these three files are there and let me try to change the branch and see okay so i could get the main branch here and the files from the main branch has been updated already here and if you see here we could see we have got multiple branches like the dev the develop and then the main so in case if i want to open any of my remote remote branches i can i have to click on this button here which is the switch to another branch so when i click on it you could see we have got the other branches as well the origin dev and when i do check out a remote branch so let me click again then the remote branches so let me click this click enter when i go to this location so here if you see at the bottom we have got the dev branch and then the files which is in the dev folder so for example if i so in the main you can see there's three files and then when i go to dev you can see the test.yaml file which has been added so the same way if you go to this source control and click on the branches can see the branch like you can switch to the branch and then when you click enter automatically you can see you are in that branch so okay you are in the develop branch now so that's how the visual studio code works so in this video we see how to connect our visual studio code with the azure devops and also we have fixed the ssl connect the connection was recent reset in connection to dev.azure.com issue uh, so with that i come to an end so this is the uh, main objective of this video so how to connect your uh, github to azure uh, sorry the azure uh, devops to visual studio code and then fixing the open ssl the ssl connect issue so with that i come to an end and uh, we will see more about this visual studio code and azure devops in our upcoming videos I will take you through uh, a lot of other interesting topics. So with that, I come to an end. And until, until I meet you in another next interesting video, it's bye-bye for Asan Shanmugam and Little Slaw.